This is the Ferret Pro, and we're going to go visit Chris Castile of A New Life Prosthetic and Orthotics in Detroit, and we're going to scan his leg with this mobile scanner from Creality. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred backpack hanger in stainless steel and aluminum designed by me. Holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, holds your keys. It's an incredibly versatile tool. You can use it anywhere in your home or office. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. This video sponsor, PCB Way, offers CNC machining services. CNC parts can be machined from your data out of a multitude of metals, plastics, and even rubber. They offer a huge variety of finishes from plating to anodizing, black oxide, powder coating, and many, many more. Parts can be made as small as two millimeters up to one meter in size. Upload your files today for a quote and have your parts in a matter of days. Don't delay. Order from PCB Way. USB-C to USB-A, another adapter, USB to USB-C, angled USB-C, BA to USB-C, just ridiculous, you know, just make everything USB-C, <laughs> and then you, you could, you could, look at the waste you could eliminate by just having USB-C, why, why support that legacy stuff, why, it's, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. Quick start guide, after sales service card. So this is the adapter for your phone, for the mobile holder, power button, everything. A little tripod, a little stand, a little ball head. This is the thing that gives you wireless, probably Wi-Fi. And then this is the scanner itself here. That's it, that's everything that's in the box. It looks like it's really meant for mobile scanning and not really desktop. And meant to be used with your phone. The thing that makes this scanner so usable is this Wi-Fi unit right here. And it gives you the freedom of mobility that the other scanners that I've used in the past just don't have. Why this is USB-C and this is USB-A makes no, makes no sense, totally stupid. Then again, <laughs> then they put USB-C here and again, USB-A here. I mean, fucking dumb. And then your phone goes here. Power, Wi-Fi unit, phone, scanner, stand. And this is nice that this comes off too. So it's not in the way when you're scanning, but then you can pop it back on or something just to. Okay. Internet, ferret, connected to device, can't provide internet. Reality scan. Okay. Then you gotta turn your phone. Dumb. Tells you what it's suitable for. Scanning, troubleshooting tips. How to scan for geometry or texture. Initial setup guide. Support. User manual. Now, we wanna do a new scan, but for whatever reason, it's not connected. Please connect to scanner, scanner, don't know. Stay connected, yes, and now, still doesn't, there, now it's connected. New scan. And you're ready to scan. I'm going to introduce you to Chris Castile and let him tell his story about New Life Prosthetics in his own words. All right, I'm uh, Chris Castile. I'm the co-owner of A New Life Prosthetics and Orthotics. Um, 
here in the corner of Woodward and Milwaukee in downtown Detroit. Here at a New Life Orthotics and Prosthetics, we're kind of a boutique, head-to-toe, pediatric, geriatric, orthotic and prosthetic uh, appliance manufacturer. So we make artificial limbs, braces, um, we provide diabetic shoes, compression garments. Uh, we have on-site fabrication um, and some digital technologies, including uh, digital scanning and 3D printing, which allow us to make uh, items more precise and faster. I was a young guy, 24 years old, riding my motorcycle to work and uh, got hit by a car and uh, distracted driving before they called it that. Uh, literally, it was a traumatic amputation, lost my leg, compound fracture, my femur. Basically, um, off-duty cops saved my life, kept me from bleeding out, got me to U of M. Uh, they uh, basically put me back together, left the leg, and uh, I went on to have a full career in manufacturing. Got laid off in uh, 2002 and had to re reinvent myself. Uh, went back to school while I was working at U of M. Um, got a master's degree in orthotics and prosthetics. Uh, met Matt Warner, uh, CPO here that I work with now. And uh, in 2011, we started a New Life Prosthetics and Orthotics and been here booming ever since. We wanted to introduce Chris and his team to the technology to see if this mobile version of the scanner could benefit them in making the process faster and more accurate for their clients. The first thing we're going to do is scan a plaster cast, which is what they do sometimes. I'm going to let Klaus Kunin take you through the functionality of the software and how to use the scanner. He loves scanning stuff. He's been on my channel several times. And I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel below. Distance is good. Too far away. And then there's a start button. You can click start. And it flickers, for example, because if it's red, it starts scanning. If it's green, then the surface is sufficiently scanned. And then all you need to do is just you walk around there it tells me to get a little bit closer. You can go up and down, different angles. So it is really, you can also walk pretty fast. That is what's really amazing about the scanner. They, they have a very good tracking chip in it. Obviously you shouldn't shake aggressively, but if, if it loses, the, the tracking, it pauses the scanning. It also tells here how many frames or how many pictures scanning. And I'm actually done now. I can click next. And then this point, this scan is being optimized. Optimized means on a mobile device, it's automatic setting. But if you're on a PC or Mac, you can say up to 0.1 millimeter of a precision optimized upon cloud. This is the optimized scan that you get. We're just gonna pan around here on his iPhone. And that's pretty nice actually. Granted, this is ideal conditions because it's a matte surface. So now the, the point cloud is actually optimized. Now if you wanna, you can zoom in a little bit. You see these are just points. And then you hit next. You can specify fill holes, make it a solid. I just go with default and then makes a mesh. Excellent. Yeah, and there's now actually the scan. And uh, on the mobile version now, but if you're on the PC ver or Mac version, yeah, you have like a selection tool. And then... Because then this way you can... This might actually be nicer and you... And the thing is, you can even rotate it. Like under the chin, for example, is always a, a tricky part. Oh, yeah. There. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of a narrative, but yeah, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> cool. like here so then it tells you we can get closer you can actually also 
if you want, scan it this way, you can, then you can just walk around, it might be easier. Can you then change back up? Operate? Oh yeah, you can rotate oh. all the time. Right. Um, but the thing is, like, if you're rotating, you always need to keep your object in focus. Okay. So you have to, you need to have really good um, body coordination. So if you, if you want to start, just click the start button. Can you show it's higher or is that a... We wanted to let Matt see how easy it was to scan, but Kloss ends up coming and redoing the scan, and this is the result that we got, and it's really good. I must say, the, the ability to be mobile and not tethered and have 360 degrees of freedom with this Wi-Fi unit that basically beams the data, you know, to your phone so you can see what's happening in real time is, is kind of much, much better than being tethered to a PC. I mean, that just doesn't really work in real life. This is really the way forward. And ultimately, what you want is a scanner with a screen built into it. I mean, I don't really want to use my phone and set everything up. I just want to pull it out of my pocket and scan. That's really what you want. I think for the price, right now in the holidays it's just under 400 bucks on the Creality website it's a pretty good value you got to get the pro version which has the Wi-Fi so that you have that freedom of mobility to go out the Creality software is continuously improving and that makes a big difference as they do actively work on their software and make it better so it tracks really good when you lose tracking, you can go back to that point and it picks it up. And the combination of the mobility and the freedom and the hardware all put together, scanning is starting to come together and easier to be easier than it was. And this probably is the first scanner that I've tested where it's much more natural and you're not tethered to a computer to make the scanning process, you know, manageable in my opinion so i think this this is a good scanner for the price good bang for the buck and something i would recommend and something i'm certainly going to continue to use in my practice for designing and scanning objects when i design products for clients there's a link in the description below to this scanner from the creality website if you want to get one Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.